Good morning world, how are we doing? Welcome to another Paint with Peter session. Bonjour, hello, ça va? Hope everyone's doing okay. Uh, we're gonna take, it's exactly 10 o'clock. Uh, wow, um, all the zero. Um, we're gonna take two minutes just to get everything ready. So if you need a pen, uh, some paper, maybe a pencil if you've got it. Um, all we need today is our skeleton kit. So yeah, black marker or pencil or both, uh, a bit of paper and a little bit of imagination. Uh, I want to say hello to all the new audience members. Um, bonjour. Uh, <laughs> they're not smart. Uh, they might be. Uh, I, so I just wanted to uh, reintroduce myself um, and go through what we've done in the previous Paint with Pete sessions this week, maybe last week, and last year as well. Um, so if anyone's um, looking for something to do in lockdown, being creative is an amazing way of uh, getting some energy out and also getting back to yourself a little bit in this crazy, tumultuous world at the moment. Um, I'm feeling it a little bit as well. Um, so the Paint With Pete sessions are really good for me to kind of just remind myself that I can be creative and that I am. And if you want to join me, you are more than welcome. Please give each other a shout out. Good morning, Mrs. Barton. Um, I absolutely love the audience of Paint With Pete, um, the interaction. We've had uh, audience members name my piece uh, give me ideas for painting, colour, uh, again, concepts even for the shows themselves. Um, people asking if we can draw more, if we can paint more, etc, etc. Uh, I'm very open to any suggestions. So anyone who comes up with an idea for the Paint With Pete uh, shows, please, please, please just tell me. Let me know uh, and we'll try and get it into the sessions. Um, the sessions at the moment, certainly for the past couple of weeks, have been Monday is Doodle Day, Tuesday, Colour. Wednesday, today, is lettering. Thursday is portraits, so we're drawing famous people. And Friday is the gallery. So I flip the camera around, we go into the gallery, um, and I'll show you the work that we've done this week. Please, again, if you are new to the Paint With Pete, please allocate a space in your house, whether it's on your fridge, the wall, the car, bedroom wall, whatever you want, the hall, um, however you want to do it. But please allocate a space for your work, um, so then you can then put the work up at the end of the day. And we can sit back at the end of not Friday, at the end of the week, uh, review what we've done, have a look where we can improve, what we can do, and all that sort of thing as well. Um, my camera's at a very strange angle again today. <laughs> um, I've left the yesterday's up, so yesterday was colour. Uh, so we basically painted a couple of pieces. I'll get them out later. We're doing lettering today, I'll talk about them to, uh, in a minute. Last week's lettering, we worked on block uh, letter. So we came up with a very basic setup for our fonts that are all based on squares or rectangles. Um, obviously some circles in there as well, uh, certainly this side. Um, so we basically just uh, learned the basics of how to create a block font. We then turned it into a bubble or a sausage. Um, I was trying to decide what to call it, we'll just call it the bubble font, absolutely fine. That's kind of like this. So last week, last Wednesday, uh, we created a nameplate, so we basically just went through a square font, a rounded font, and we wrote our name. I cut it out, added a bit of extra things, and that sits on my wall. You can do that as well, if you want it for your bedroom, for the house, for just a positive message, just for the family and friends. Uh, mainly family, I imagine, coming around. Um, do that, have a look at the uh, previous sessions on, uh, well, YouTube and Facebook. Right here, obsolete formats MCR on Facebook. Right? Okay, so this week, I'll do a little spiel in a minute. Um, today, sorry, we're going to be working on our fonts. The idea of the font sessions or the lettering sessions is to, in the end, at the end of the sessions, maybe in a couple of weeks, is uh, design a font together. So this includes you guys. Um, I will need a bit of interaction, but I want to design a font that everybody can download and use at complete will, for complete free, whatever. Um, so I want to design a font. I've designed a few fonts in my time. Um, I'll show you those in a second as well. Uh, but again, I need descriptive words or adjectives to describe how you guys want the font to look. If you want it clean or groovy or wavy, spiky, fun, you know, carnival, um, what are the words, at festival, typewriter, uh, New York, Manchester, any of these words are descriptive words and they'll give me clues about what we want our letters to look like and I can then work on those with you guys in the sessions on Wednesdays 
and we'll come up with a font that I can create and everybody can download and use on Facebook, on oh, sorry, on Photoshop, writing letters, on Word, whatever you want, all right? Again, give me a shout out. Um, we also did some eyes and some character stuff this week, so we created some uh, characters. We turned our vegetables into characters as well. So there was Pickle Rick, and here's Tough Man Turnip, and uh, Potato Pete, I think, or Pete the Potato, there you go. Uh, celebrating Burns Night on Monday. There we go. So that was our doodles. Uh, we also get a bit painty as well. So again, much like the pieces here, on Tuesdays we get our colour out, so this was created last week. Um, you can see some more of my artwork. I'll do the spin on a second. Uh, so we're just throwing some paint at the canvas, seeing how it goes. Again, if you're painting alongside or with me, 10 million points. If, uh, if you're watching this on Watchback and you're settling down and just having an hour to yourself where you be creative, again, amazing. You can find me, I'll do this now. Uh, you can find me, I am Pete Obsolete and Obsolete Formats MCR on Facebook. I am Pete Obsolete and Obsolete Formats on Instagram. I am Snob Ross on Twitter and on YouTube, I am Obsolete Format. So if you've missed any of the shows from last year, the specials, the Bonfire Night or the, uh, or the Bonfire Night and Halloween specials, um, please have a look back at YouTube, Obsolete Formats and Facebook, Obsolete Formats MCR. Thank you very much. Uh, we are going to get some, uh, some music on as well. I like playing some um, kind of light hip hop. Um, all these instrumentals are from uh, my upcoming album. Um, so all the instrumentals are from Man Cub, Pro P and Blizzard. Shout out to all those producers. Manchester royalty as well. Absolute legends. Um, but today we're going to work on fonts. We, I would just want to make sure everybody's kind of uh, getting used to drawing that bubble font. So we can all do a nameplate like this in a very simple bubble font. Um, if you've got a rubber He's a secret, you know, little secret spy tool uh, that makes everything a lot neater. Uh, I also want to be talking about how to turn our own handwriting into a font. So how our handwriting looks, how to fatten it up a little bit to make it a bit more um, fun, professional, interesting, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, we'll be looking at serif and sans serif fonts behind me. And uh, I will be asking again for descriptive words for the font for the paint with P. Um, so... I might even add uh, the stay creative to this piece. I've already done a stay safe, that's on my website, um, but I'll do a put stay creative over the piece that we created yesterday. So I'm including a bit of font and a bit of lettering into the color and the painting as well. Lovely. Okay. Da, 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 da. Uh, true, contact details, very true. So it will save me. Um, I will put my contact details up on, I'll do that in the break. Um, in fact, I'll use the, the bubble font, I'll draw my social media stuff, so we can all see me drawing it. If you want a copy, please do, put your own social medias in there, and we'll go from there. Okay, let's get started. Um, so all we need today, really, pencil, pen, and some paper. I do have a lot of other art materials as well, if you have them, 10 million more points to you guys. Uh, but again, if we're a skeleton crew today, pencil, pen, paper, there we are. And um, that's how we're going to start. So... Um, what I want to start with is our handwriting. Um, art is completely unique to everybody, uh, as is our handwriting, much like our fingerprints or how we draw, how we write, how we conceptualise things, how we interact with our world. It's all personal. It's all about you. We're going to get some tunes on and we're going to go through my handwriting and how I turn it into a fatter, bigger font. I would do it on the bigger sheet. So if you've got a big bit of paper, amazing. Let's get some tunes on. Radio. Uh, I will do go back to this. Excuse me. But serif and sans serif. So I have chosen three of my favourite all-time fonts. Uh, two of them might look similar. One of them uh, you'll definitely recognise uh, as Tiger's New Roman. So serif and sans serif is a description of what the font looks like. It's not the name of the font. A serif is a stroke, basically, in direct translation to Latin or French, I imagine. Uh, I think it's French. Um, so serif is the extension, so like a brush stroke. So a serif is any extra uh, little details, feet, uh, arms a little bit, on some of the letters. So the perfect example of a... Ooh. 
a serif font is Times New Roman. If you've ever used a typewriter, uh, not a typewriter, ever used a computer, it's the most basic font. Oh, you can tell them obviously, I said typewriter first. Um, so you can see these extra little feet on some of the letters, they are called serifs. So this is a serif font. Uh, two of my all time favorite fonts ever. This is called Futura. If you know the brand Supreme, they use a, a version of this uh, to certainly one person's uh, distaste. Um, but this is Futura. So again, sans serif, without. San means without in French. So sans serif is without a serif. So straight edges, straight lines, nice and clean, beautiful font. Um, last one. Again, the graphic designer's uh, favorite. Uh, this is Helvetica. So again, Swiss designed. You can tell because it's so neat and clean. And again, uh, I guarantee you will have seen this around. Posters, promo films, uh, anything like that. Um, get to know your fonts. I absolutely love Helvetica and Futura because they are sans serif. So again, without the little feet on. Um, when we were creating a block font last week, we were creating a sans serif font because it's just square, nice and blocky and clean. But we're gonna go down the handwriting route today. So if you've got a pen or a biro, perfect. I did have, here he is. Always in the pocket, pencil behind here. Okay, I'm just gonna swap my pieces around so I can work here. Again, all about making your studio uh, a comfortable place to be. So again, loads of elbow room. I'm obviously writing like this, so I'm gonna show you guys. But all I'm gonna do is write hello in my handwriting, and then I'm gonna go through the stages of how to fatten it up and what it looks like and how to kind of uh, think about the letters once you're approaching them, all right? Uh, it might help if you are a little bit unconfident with the pen, practice with a pencil and then go over your lines. There's nothing wrong with that. Tracing is a massive, massive tool in any artist's armory um, and you can basically trace anything if you can't see it directly for tracing uh, put your page up against a window and you'll be able to see straight through it okay so handwriting i'm just going to write hello in my normal handwriting i'm not going to try and um smart it up or posh it up or street art it up or anything i'm just going to write hello all right so let's use a pen that works hey eh? Okay, so again, hello. Just a little bit thicker and a slightly fatter Posca. I'm using the Posca, this is a 7M. Okay, so if we look at hello, it's nice, it's fine, just my handwriting. If I wanted to make it a little bit fatter, I could go over it again. So all we're doing is doubling up. So following the lines, just going over it again. So double fat, nice and slow. And just making it a little bit fatter. Not double fat, there we go. Sometimes it's uh, good to practice by using two colours so you can actually see where your line is getting thicker. So if you do first line in blue and the second line in red, you can then also see how thick it is and all that sort of stuff. I'm basically just fattening a word up. Um, so we can do that by fattening. We could then put some tracing paper over that and trace it. So we don't want any tracing paper. I do, sorry about that, here's some tracing paper. Uh, so again, I've just got to let that dry a little bit. I can see that it's still a little bit wet, that's fine. You can use normally four to trace. Um, if you get actual tracing paper, it's a lot more opaque. Um, so you can just about see through it without taking too much, um, you know, without uh, not being able to see it too much. So, let's do that again. 
We are going to trace that in a second. I will trace it. Um, I just want to wait for this pink, this ink to dry. So again, I'm going to write hello in my normal handwriting, and then I'm going to do an outline of where I think it needs to be fatter. We're going to do it slightly on the left hand side of each of the letter, if that makes sense. You'll see what I mean. Um, you would have seen certain cursive fonts like this as well, uh, and obviously a fatter edge is kind of imitating a fountain pen or a quill. So when you drag it down at a certain angle, it is fatter. I hope that makes some sort of sense. <laughs> it's like a wedge. Uh, okay, so hello. Hello. I'm gonna use a thinner black just so you can see it. We'll see it defined. Okay, so I want all of the left hand side of the letters to be slightly thicker, to be slightly stronger on the page. I'm just putting that arrow in, just so we know where the kind of, uh, not shadow, but where the thicker edge is gonna be, okay? So I've got my little pen just to kind of outline it. Okay. There we go. Again, all the way around. We're going to 3D next week. Okay, so all I've done is go round the uh, outside edge of my letters with a slightly thinner pen so I can see the depth and the, the thickness of that, okay? I'm gonna color that in now. I'm just gonna color it in black so we can all see it. Okay. Okay, so all the thickness is on the left. So we've got here, 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 and here. Simply from those lines, I could put another shadow line in um, to make it jump out the page. I'm gonna try that just to experiment. And then simply by putting those lines in, just to remind us where we've drawn, if I go really close to the bottom, it will hopefully give it a shadow. So, we we'll just come around and follow that bottom line. It's not perfect, I'm fine with that. Again, these are just practice sessions, all right? This is just all sketchbook work. And again, if any of the Paint Repeat audience knows me, um, they know that I will always, that's wrong, isn't it? I've just noticed, <laughs> sorry. Um, I will always try and bank my, page, my pages and my pieces. If I don't like it, I can paint over it, work into it, draw over it. Um, okay, so from there, again, we get the tracing paper out. Always good if you've got a bit of tracing paper to hand. It just means that uh, you can practice a lot more and um, do multiples of the same image if you wanted. So,
take a bit more time than I am if you want it. And then we have our double thickness letter or word, sorry. So we've got our hello there. There we go. Okay, so we're going to do a nameplate again using this kind of simple technique. Um, I'm going to leave the tracing paper for a minute. Again, please just get some A4, put it up against the window. The light from behind the window will shine through all the dark lines. You'll be able to see it on your top coat or your top piece. And you can trace over it. Lovely. Um, so, I'm going to turn him around so we've got a fresh piece. Super simple. That's what we're after. We're just about trying. Um, try it in a different colour. Put the shadow in a different colour if you wanted to try that. There's loads of different ideas. I'm going to now do Pete. I'm going to do it with my pencil first. Okay. Again, I'm just going to try my pencil first just to get the, uh, the structure right. Uh, you'll see it come in in the black line. You can probably see me drawing like this as well, but just checking. So nice and easy, fluid. We didn't do our we didn't do our hand exercises, did we, this morning? Um, hands out, up, in, and out. Do that a few times, and then stretch, squeeze, stretch, squeeze. Nice and warm. Okay. So, nice fluid handwriting. My name's Pete, this is the paint with Pete's. There's Pete, just in pencil. Again, all I'm gonna do is fatten him up uh, a little bit with my pencil. Have a look at the left hand side of the letters. So left again. So we're gonna come down the P, E, the T and the E. Again, shorter names, this might be slightly easier. Um, if you've got a longer name, I'd love to see uh, what happens with your fatting when you're turning your handwriting into an actual font. So again, all I'm doing is drawing. So I'm going to fatten this up. So double. I'm just going round the letters really neatly or slowly. Still a bit sketchy, but I'm trying to be a little bit neater. And then we're going to come up. Here. Okay, so there's the pencil line that's a bit thin, uh, thick. Again, you can edit at will with one of these things. Apologies. Got about six minutes till brew time, halfway through the Paint Repeat shows. We take five minutes to just go and get some fresh air, a bit of fruit, some water, anything you need. A bit of a stretch if you needed to, to come back to the session uh, uh, just after half past. I stay online, obviously, um, so I'll be here if you're just doodling through brew time. Amazing. Still got about five minutes for that. So nameplate, I'm going to do it in a big... Big fat uh, chunky black Posca, just so we can all see it. I've got my pencil line, I've just written my name like this. I've gone round that line again, so it's got an outline, just to make it a little bit fatter. And again, all we're doing here is creating a font with your handwriting, it becomes your font. If you practice it, you will be able to draw it second nature. Um, I realise, you know, I have, there was, it's quite smooth for me. I've, draw, I've written my name quite a few times, obviously uh, drawn quite a lot. So it's that kind of constant interaction with my page and my pencil that gives me a bit more confidence, let alone a bit more accuracy with the lines. It doesn't matter what stage you're at at the moment, just get drawing. Amazing. There's the P. So this E is slightly behind him, that's all right.
As you can see, I'm, I'm leaving the crossbar on the tee, but my pencil lines are telling me I can leave it. So it doesn't need to be the, done straight away. And there's Pete, we've taken it from our pencil line, handwriting, we've put another border around it, so we've kind of fattened the lines up like we did with the hello, and I've just gone round it over my pencil, so I've got my pencil line and then the black line, and there's Pete. Uh, you can add stuff to it, so exclamation marks, asterisks, etc. Um, little exploding marks, I like using ink, so we'll just do some ink. Put something you like around it, whatever you want. What else can we do? Let's do a, again, pencil. I don't know. Or freestyle, it's fine. And there's our nameplate. So super simple. The next thing we can do with that, well, take two minutes, why not? Um, and just pat yourself on the back for writing your name from your handwriting. We could cut it out so it becomes a little bit more of a piece, like the obsolete up there. Um, and we can obviously put it on our doors, we can colour it in, we can take it into the next session. Um, we can create a portrait, say tomorrow, and put a, and actually name the person who we're drawing as well. So again, this idea of being okay with a few mistakes and using your pencil um, and just, you know, being a little bit rough with it uh, is it's all part of the journey. I say it almost every, every session. Art is a journey. Um, it's like I always think of it like ninjutsu. Um, you will never become knowledged or proficient in ninjutsu uh, <laughs> until you die. Um, and it's similar with art. Like even you know you could learn everything, uh, and you still there would still be things to find out. This is where imagination, experimentation, and creativity comes into it because they're the three things that give you complete freedom to write, draw, paint rap, uh, you know, sing, walk, moonwalk, whatever you want to do. Um, super important. Okay, there we go. So we've done our handwritten sans serif font. Sans serif, because there's no feet on the letters. And obviously it's all our handwriting. Um, please do not forget to take photos of your work if you want to share the work with me. I'm very, very keen and enthusiastic about sharing people's work. Um, so if you want to take a photo of what you're doing, send it to me. We'll obviously celebrate it online um, through all my social medias. I won't go through that again just yet. All right? So it is uh, just coming up to brew time. We're going to take five little minutes. All right? It might seem like a while, but it will go. Um, so please just take two, minute, two minutes, whatever you want. Let's go grab some water, some fruit, maybe some fresh air if you need it. Uh, and come back in the brew time if you are sticking with me. I am Pete Obsolete. Word up. I'm gonna add another layer to this guy. So I'm gonna, I might, ooh. I might do black and then gold. So I'm gonna do a black line over my red punk skull and then do some gold. Uh, I'm gonna work a little bit on my hitcher. It's only five minutes, but again, you can get quite a lot done, though it, though it does go pretty quick. And when we come back, I will be uh, turning this piece that we created yesterday with our kind of primary and secondary colors. Um, I'll be creating a piece that says stay creative. Okay, so stay creative. Again, I'll go through the letter forms and then apply it to the piece. And then maybe if I've got time, fill it in, fill the negative space in, the, in black so you can then just see the font coming through. That is brew time, everybody. I'll, well, I'm gonna still be here, you know. Please keep me company, give me a shout out. If you do need to go get her some water, coffee maybe, cup of tea, please, please do that. Um, put your pens down, shake your wrists, have some fun. See you in a couple of minutes. I'm gonna get on this guy. I'll turn my way through it as well while we're here. So we have a big fat Posca, nice solid black line. I'm gonna do almost a single line skull. Again, if you know my work, uh, you know the skulls. 
So here we are, here's another one, why not? Okay, cool. So we've got some teeth and his neck. Let's sign it. And let's not forget his hair. Okay, Chris him. There we go. Lovely stuff. Okay, hope everyone's doing good. Still in the midst of brew time. Just letting him dry for a second. Having a little think. Uh, I'm gonna move this guy into our drawing position. Again, please make your studio and your drawing area something that you're comfortable drawing in. Um, clear anything out of the way. Make sure you've got a bit of elbow room, all of that good stuff. Okay, so I'm going to move this guy up for, um, for the next bit of the session. There we are. Let's grab some more. Cheers. Okay, cool. There we are, another minute or two. Two minutes after brew time. Lovely. Okie dokie. I might even do some dueling while we've got a bit of time just to keep our hands moving. Uh, I'm just gonna put another pattern in black against our blank piece here. Um, so that could, again, we could use that later on if we wanted, but I'm just gonna do a couple of doodles, just see what happens. Again, super okay with it being a background, right? What should we put? I'm gonna practice my stay safe writing while we're just on a break. So. That's pretty much, I mean, it's good practice more than anything. Uh, it's not exactly the neatest thing I've ever done, but again, we're just going through those letter forms. I'm thinking about the space. I'm thinking about how close the letters are or not together. Um, and then obviously we're gonna allocate it onto our piece as well. Okay, we're gonna start that. So welcome back after brew time. Um, it, might be a very, it might be quite difficult to see it on here. Uh, so I'm gonna use a white pen to start with. Um, basically, the Poskas, 
when I say Posca, I mean the drawing pen. Um, come in a whole range of colours, they are absolutely incredible. Shouts to Cass Art Manchester for sorting me out as well. Check out CassArt.com. If you need any art materials, um, because we've practiced, I'm just gonna go straight in with a pen because I'm not gonna be able to see my pencil, all right? Uh, I know sometimes you can't see the pencil on the page anyway. Uh, apologies for that. You can obviously see where my hand's going and obviously the ink will, the line, ink line will go in and you'll see that. I do need a white pen though. So, let's grab my pens. So just grabbing a white, let's have a look, see if we've got one, yeah, okay, so yeah, there's the black version, there's the white version of the pen. I am going to sketch in white, so again if you are, if you feel, it's like with any piece, if you feel a little bit awkward about something, just sketch it first, right, there's no shame in just going for a pencil, they are literally the origin of the species for everybody. Um, Never ever ever forget that everything starts with a pencil and the very first paintbrush was this guy, all right? Everything from there has been created is art, all right? So I'm using a brush, uh, sorry, I'm using a pen like a pencil at the moment. So I'm just gonna kind of see it in my head, use this as the basic, so four letters wide, maybe a little bit there, four letters there, cool. So here's about halfway. Stay, S T A Y at the top, and then create hyphen tiv. We've got all of this to play with though, so about halfway is here. If there's any space, we can always fill it with hearts. Very good idea. Uh, I might, in fact, I might be implementing that soon. Create, so we've got an A. Stay create, and a little hyphen, Tiv. So we've got stay, create, tiv. I'm just gonna fill this last bit uh, bottom with some hearts. Uh, again, I'm happy freestyling, I'm okay with it. Changing shape, changing size, not being, not just being the font, etc. Let's get that on the screen soon. Okay, that looks cool. Okay, so just hearts. So I've got my, I'll show you. So I've got my font written up into the painting. Hopefully you can see those white lines there. Stay creative, lots of hearts. Again, this tracing idea will always come back. Um, so I'm now ready to trace my white line. Just wanna see if you can see that. Yep. Um, so I'm gonna trace that white line with my black uh, and hopefully it will ground it a little bit, give it a bit more form and obviously make the letters stand out a little bit more. So here we go. Again, much like the lesson with yesterday, we decided, we in pencil you can decide which lines you want to keep, which lines you go over. I'm trying to get all the letters to sit behind each other a little bit, and pencil will help that. There we go. Stay. 
way. C on, there we go. Stay create. I'm kind of emphasizing the heart shape of a V as well. So we've already got a heart reference in there. Stay creative, a little, still a little bit hidden though. Okay, you can probably just see that a little bit um, on the wall. There it is a little bit nearer. So again, all I've done is outline the white that we did. That was just a sketch mark. For, so how, what I mean by uh, using the white as a pencil, if you've just got a white bit of paper and you haven't painted it or anything, that white can act as a pencil. So in theory, you can have a white bit of paper with just that pencil lining. And then obviously, like with my piece, I've gone round the outside in black to make the words stand out a little bit from the piece. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Again, every session I will say, it's all about investing in yourself and banking an idea or planning to do something with the piece. Later on, it doesn't have to be immediate or like a reactionary where you're just creating a piece constantly. I'm gonna leave this for tomorrow. I'm then gonna fill in, I'll show you again, two seconds. Uh, I'm gonna fill in the gaps around the letters in black. So the letters themselves are the color of the piece behind it. I'm also gonna uh, spatter some gold all over it. So it has a little bit of this kind of uh, optimism, a bit of light literally emitting from it. Um, you'll see that probably tomorrow or Friday. So please stay tuned. Um, I'm going to add some black and some gold, probably a little bit of white, sign it, and that will go into the gallery for Friday. Lovely. Okay, um, I've just come up with something that I think we all should be doing, uh, and that is celebrating the NHS. So, I'm going to get another big bit, another big piece, and we're going to do a big uh, NHS in our bubble font all right i might choose blue for it because uh, it's nhs blue um but i just want to make sure that the start of the session and the end of the session start and finish with the bubble because i really want everybody to be able to draw it it's really fun to do uh, and again can be applied for everything um give me some blue stuff. so a nice big nhs again if you're copying if you're simply straight copying me i am more than okay with that um it takes a while to be okay with a page and a big blank bit of paper, um, use of the pen, pencil, and then having the confidence and the kind of uh, knowledge as well to just go into a piece to create. So let's do a big NHS because I think it's easily deserved, isn't it? 15 minutes left, let's get our NHS done. Uh, this guy is dry. So we can just go straight over him. We're not going to interrupt it. Okay, uh, where's three point area? In fact, I'm going to get a blue. If 
fucking fine one. Excuse me. Okay, so I've got a very, uh, well, as close to the NHS blue as I can. I've got my big piece and my pencil. So again, we're gonna do bubbles, all right? So we draw NHS is slightly slanted this way. So we're gonna slightly slant, like our handwriting. Again, slightly slanted, all right? So slightly that way. And then, okay, so N, H, S. I've just written them large, I'll show you in a second. So I've just written NHS in our block, so just literally NHS. I have added our serif because we're going to block him up first. So we're getting exactly the same process as last week. We write the let we write the letters out, we add our serifs, we create a block version, and then we round it all off and it turns into a balloon font. Alright. So there's NHS in just our pencil straight line. We're then gonna link our serifs up. So again, just using the thickness of the serif. Thickness of the serif, again S, super complicated. Let me draw that one. And then we've got our block, this one. So I've just serifed it and blocked him up, so he's like a square font. And then again, it's just rounding up or rounding off. Nice and curvy wrist, round, round. We basically turn all of those blocks into sausages. My blue tech is not behaving itself today, is he? Come on, lad. Okay. And then bubble. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Nice and curved edges, super bubbly. And then again for the S, nice and fat. There we are. Might make him a little bit wider. Oops. Try not to poke yourself in the eye with the uh, pencil. That was close. Okay, so I've got, I'm going to go run it in black actually just to keep it nice and round. I'll add some blue to represent the NHS. So again, thin letters, put our blocks in, our serifs, draw them in so they're blocky, and then round all the edges off and it becomes a bubble font. So we start at the top. for N. H. Again, add little things to it. I'm going to put a heart in there because we love our NHS. Thank you to all the nurses and doctors and care staff. 
So again, nice simple hearts. Switch it to a different colour, so again if you only got one colour, don't worry about it, stick to black. Uh, if you've got a blue biro or anything other, any other colour, I'm just going to choose, I've chosen blue because of the NHS. So again we're just going to add some bubble effect in. Again, always on the left because I'm imagining light is coming from here, so there's lighter areas. We'll do lighting in a different session though. Maybe some blue hearts. Some signature lines. Just to customise it up a little bit. Come on. Oh. And there's that NHS uh, bubble. There we are. Again, we could cut it out, put it on your window, um, shed some, share some love with the world. In fact, I'm probably going to do that as well. Uh, cut it out and put it in my window. So there we are. Coming around to the end of the session now, everybody. So yeah, um, the next stage, I could do a little bit of this actually. Uh, I'm just gonna add a little bit of effect in to my word piece. I'm just gonna go back in with the black just to thicken it up a little bit. I just wanna be able to see it a little bit more. So again, I'm just kind of coloring in the little bits and maybe going just going around. Yeah, just a little bit more. This is by by no means the uh, the last layer at all. So any little uh, mistakes can be uh, easily rectified. Basically, if there's, I know there's going to be harder areas to paint here, certainly for the detail bits like here. So I'm basically just going around the letters, uh, just giving myself a bit more of a kind of bumper to paint against. It's going to be hard. Yeah, cool. Okay. Okay, nearly done.
Last heart. Coolio, okay, cool. Good, 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 good. Last little bits here, guys. Thank you. We'll sort that area out in a bit. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Okay, I did make a few uh, little errors in there, but again, I know that I can, I've got the confidence, I know I can uh, put the shape of the letter back in. So, that T needs defining a little bit more, that's cool, uh, but the rest of it, I'm very happy with. So yeah, you can see it just coming straight through, I'm just looking, just checking the video, and uh, you can see it lovely and clear on camera as well, brilliant. So that's a job done um, so far. I'm going to leave him up. I was going to do a re reveal today, uh, but I because I know I want to do one more layer, I think it's going to be gold, a really nice thin layer of gold over the top. Um, we'll do the reveal of my school piece in tomorrow's portrait session. Um, so, again, I didn't say at the start of the show, I need some suggestions from you guys, if that's okay. Um, please send me any celebrity name, famous person from any walk of uh, celebrity life um, and we will draw it together tomorrow. I have a little attaché case that I've got all the names in. Uh, I'll lucky dip, randomise um, and pick out a name. All from you guys, you can draw with me, follow the lines if you want to draw your version of it as well tomorrow. Please, please do. Um, just don't forget to take photos of your work and please, please keep your work. And again, if you've got a space on the fridge, on the wall, please have a, your own little gallery area and we can obviously document what we're doing in these art sessions. Keep them, go back to them, take an idea forward and review as well. Absolutely fantastic. Um, that is me and the Paint With Peace session for today. Um, so today we kind of went down uh, handwriting. We had a very, very brief look at serif and sans serif fonts. Obviously, we're going to go into that a little bit more next week. Serif, have little feet on. San serif, san means without, so without feet. Much like Mr. Helvetica, no feet. Um, so we'll be thinking about that next week. I'm going to officially start the font designing for our collective group font, for the paint repeat font. We'll start that officially next week. I just really want to, I'm super keen to get everybody into the bubble font. Uh, so we also, yeah, added a little bit of a, to our piece as well, to the piece from yesterday. Uh, and we created a big NHS banner out of our bubble font. Please practice this. I don't want to set homework, but um, for next week's session, please be okay with the bubble font. Get yourself used to drawing it. It will come a lot easier the more you draw it. I promise you. Okay, as usual, this video uh, will be, well, it's on Facebook now. Uh, we'll be on YouTube later on and uh, please have a look at the bag catalogue if you need to or just want something to do in lockdown. Uh, super keen and super important um, to you know address the awkwardnesses that are going on outside. Um, that doesn't stop us being creative whatsoever. In fact it's probably good fuel for it as well. Um, so it's all about taking negatives and turning them into positives. Drawing, pick a pen up, Write a short poem, write a story, write a postcard to a friend. But please make sure fresh air, fruit, and some pen and paper. They will really, really sort you out. It sorts me out every single day. Every time I pick a pen up, I get excited. I don't know where that line is going to go. Um, and that's, it might sound sad. <laughs> it might sound a kind of small fry. It's very important. All right. Um, stay creative, stay safe, be good and be excellent to each other. Peace and love, I'll see you tomorrow at 10 a.m. Ciao.